All right, Ray Spirit Repair Zone. Anybody with uh, 863G Bobcat with a Deutz engine overheating, what you do, first things first, you pop the hood down here. Watch out, my boy. And then you lift up these, uh, this inspection plate, there's all your coolers. Pull those, pull those, uh, I don't know what you call them, hairpins, pull them out, and you can wash either with air or water, but be careful you don't bend the fins over. And now if that doesn't work, can you can pick one up at a time, and you can flip these ones over, flip them over, and you can clean them all nicely. Now... Mine, I did that. It's still overheating. It's the air, it's cooled by the engine oil. There's no uh, no other cooling system on here. It's not. It's air cooled, but I guess it's cooling the engine air. Now I found that this wasn't the answer. So what I did, I'm going to uh, wash it all out. You take yourself a uh, three quarter inch. Uh, wrench and well the hood is or the cab is lifted up now but on the inside there's two three quarter inch nuts take them off with the keepers and then lift the cab up and when I go inside I see my belt for my belt drive to cool everything is there's a 90 degree uh, thing here and this operates the fan that cools your rads and your can condensers and stuff now if you look over there, there's a little pulley and what I see here is that belt is running on a shoestring I need to change that belt. The belt is way past its service life. Actually, it should be running on top right here. It should be running flush. So that belt lasted more. It was an awesome belt. <laughs> now, in order to change that, you have to take on the other side now we're gonna have to go and take this plate off if I can see it from this you see that big metal plate down there by the wheel there right by there's your oil fill gauge that black plate you take that off so I might have to take off the back left wheel to change the the belt but anyway, I have it open. I'm gonna wash it all down anyway. Make sure everything is nice and clean. And then while I'm here on a cool day, I'm also gonna check my, my coolant pressure. Make sure I've got a refrigerant pressure. Make sure there's enough refrigerant in there and top it up if I don't have enough. And I'm almost guaranteed that it's gonna work my engine oil temperature will not overheat now when you have the machine level on its wheels shut off you check this plug you take this plug out and the oil level should be about here and that you put uh it says 90 weight gear oil but i put 7590 on in it that's what i have so that's what you would use, and that's what lubricates your, I guess it would be a, your gearing for your 90 degree fan drive. Hopefully this helps you. I'm very confident that it's going to help me because that belt is like, I don't know if you can see it there, it looks like a little shoestring here. But it's very, very thin and Obviously, it's not running the fan fast enough. Once I have it fixed here, I'll run it to operating temperature and see how it goes, and I'll let you know whether it worked or not.
very confident it did. It'll do the trick. Thanks for watching. See you again.